Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to descale a Nescafe Dolce Gusto Mini Me. Now I know this isn't going to work properly, so I'm going to have to do a workaround, but it will still descale the machine. So we're going to try to do it properly, and when it fails, I'm going to show you the workaround that we normally have to do to get this to work. So first things first, I need a pint glass, so I'm going to remove this so it can fit nicely underneath it, and I need to empty out the water tray at the back, because this is where we're going to be adding our solution. Also, I need to turn it off. So the machine is now currently off, but it's still plugged into the mains. So I'm going to use some descale solution and top this up with water. We have different measures here, so I'm just using one measure off it. Right, there we go, that's one measure and I'm going to top that up with tap water up to the max here and all together then it's going to be just under one litre. If you get the little packets with the scaling solution then normally you would add 800 millilitres to them. Right so that is our descale fluid ready to go at the back here and that is in. We've got this here we need to put this into descale mode so what we're going to do is we're going to hold this button down for five seconds and it will start flashing green. So I'm still holding it down. The machine was off and now you can see this is descale mode here. You need to make sure that this is on the maximum here. And we're going to go over to the hot. And that is it. It's now going to start bringing the descale solution through here. But what normally happens is is that when it comes to the rinse part on this machine it always fails so that's where I'll show you the workaround. Also we've got no capsule in here so if you've got a capsule in here take it out at the beginning I forgot to mention that so there's no capsule in here at the moment. Now if you find that it's wanting to slide here, you can always put a little cloth or something underneath it to stop it sliding around. Because it vibrates a bit and sometimes it can vibrate off. Make sure that this doesn't splash anywhere sensitive skin or on your clothes. And there we go, and that's the reason you need a pint glass, because it's nearly full up. You can see that the lever's gone to the middle up the top. So we're going to discard this water here. And we're going to discard the solution from the back here. You can see not much actually got used at all, about half of that. And now we're going to rinse this out with some cold water. Right, so I've filled that up to the max now with just fresh, clean tap water, and I'm going to put it in the back here. Now, what the manual says is, it's not too clear, but it's, uh, it says uh, during two minutes, empty out the back here, wash it out, and empty out this here. And then you're supposed to have another hot cycle by putting it to the right. But watch this, this is the workaround. I know it's not going to work. Whenever we do it to the right, it just springs back to the, the, the middle again. So it's not doing it. So what should happen is you should put it over to here and then it should do a hot rinse right the way through. So this is going to be the workaround. We're going to turn it off. Now we have put descaling fluid through it. You've seen it came out. So we have descaled the machine but we need to rinse it because it's not safe right now to drink coffee from it because it will still have descale solution in it. So we're going to put it into descale mode again but this time we've got fresh water at the back. So it's going to bring through the fresh water on a hot cycle. So I'm going to turn it back on again and hold it on for five seconds. Hold the button down for five seconds to go into descale mode again which it has. Now I'm going to go to the right. And can you see, it's fresh water, but look at it, because this is the remains of the descale solution coming through. 
So in a way, we're kind of manually doing the descale process rather than allowing the machine to do it in the set way of doing it. Obviously, when we're doing this one here, we're on the max here again. There we go, so that's the hot cycle done. I can feel there's a lot of heat in that glass there, so I'm gonna empty this. And I'm just gonna to top up this one again. And we're gonna do a cold cycle next. Right, so we're still in descale mode, but if I was just to go over to the left now, it's only gonna bring through a little bit of cold water. I want another pint glass of cold water, so I'm actually gonna turn the machine off. Now I'm just gonna turn it on normally by just tapping it. And once it uh, goes to green, we're just gonna put through normal cold water. Again, about a pint. And that way then we've had a pint of descale solution, we've had a pint of hot water, and then we've got a pint of cold water. And then it should be safe to use. There we go, so we've gone to green now. Again, I'm up top and I'm just gonna to go to the left and this is gonna push through cold water now. And I'm gonna do it one more time when it goes to green here. There we go, and again. And you know when your machine needs descaling because maybe your coffee is coming out really slow or it might not be as warm as it used to be, in which case then descale it. There we go, now we should be able to make a nice coffee. So there's still enough water in the back here. Put it on full and to the right. So although it's not the proper way to do it, it's still the same process. You're rinsing hot, you're rinsing cold. So uh, it should keep the machine working nice. So there we have it, one nice cup of coffee again. So if you've got another way of a workaround where you get it to work for yourself, please put it down in the comment section down below because you'll help other people out watching it. This is how we do it, but I'm sure there might be other ways that people have solved this problem. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.